Well, it's been in the news even today how much suicide has to do with, uh, you know, even uh, children's deaths uh, today. And uh, while children are no strangers to depression, sometimes parents say they have a tough time recognizing when their kid is struggling. Lee Richardson is with us. She's from the Brain Performance Center and joins us on the KRLD Newsline. Lee, in a new study, two-thirds of parents say they are struggling with some aspect of recognizing youth depression. How can we do better here? Well, my recommendation is to talk to your kids and, you know, talk to them about sometimes we all get a little down, we get a little sad blue. It's okay to feel that way. Kids usually have their cell phone right up to their face and, and we don't really get to see, you know, look in the eyes and watch for expression as much as we used to. And I think that kids are getting better at hiding their feelings, that's for sure. But, the, you know, whenever in doubt, Ask the question, are you happy today? Are you having a good day? What can I do to, to make your day better? Because if you look at those statistics, one out of four children knows somebody that's depressed. And one out of ten knows someone that has committed suicide. Those numbers are staggering. That really does uh, hit home for me, for sure. If your child says, no, I, I'm not feeling very well, and they start opening up to you, what would be the next steps? I think the next step would be to listen, 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 and reflect, you know, the basic, I hear you, this is how you're feeling, and ask the question, do you need more help? Would you be more comfortable talking with a counselor or with someone in the church? Then you would be with me. Give them the option to get professional help if they feel that they could benefit from it. What if there's just a lot of stonewalling going on there, but if you feel there's something wrong and they just won't say it, what would your advice be? Well, you know, there's all kinds of therapy. There's art therapy. There's music. Uh, my advice would be don't walk away from that. Find a way to connect with that child. Find a way to to, to provide a bridge to understand their feelings because if a parent tries hard enough you'll find a way to get in that is lee richardson talking to us from the brain performance center we appreciate her time